My, 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 how the turntables. YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And boy, things could change so quickly. And my guy, Augusto, he said, man, I just knew it was too good to be true. I was literally just responded to somebody who in the comment section of our previous video said, Engraven, stop overanalyzing it. You're overanalyzing it. Zadarius Smith will be with the Ravens. Oh, what's this? What's this? You know what? Let's just read the report straight from Ian Rappaport. He said, plot twist. <laughs> former Packers pass rusher. I guess you could call him former Ravens pass rusher now too. But former Packers pass rusher Zadarius Smith is not signing his deal with the Ravens after all sources say he, re <laughs> he remains a free agent. I'm not even mad, man. Straight up. I, I ain't even mad. It, it, this is actually kind of funny. It's funny how things can change just so quickly. So quickly. Again... When we listen to the press, or now who who knows? Maybe uh, Zadarius Smith is looking around because I know a lot of y'all heard on the radio up there that it's about money, it's about the bread. He want to get some more bread. And if I'm Zadarius Smith, I'm looking. I got I got what was it? Eight point five mil per year, I think something like that. Um, if I'm looking around, looking at Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones got seventeen. I'm looking around. I'm looking at Von Miller. Von Miller will got ain't, what is it? Twenty per year. He got six years, one hundred twenty mil. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking around at those deals like, hold up now. Von Miller is what, 32? Something like that? Uh, Chandler, Chandler Jones is what? Is he 31? He, he got a, either 30 or 31, something like that. But I'm, I'm looking around at these deals. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all not about to okie doke me with this, this little nine and a half, eight and a half, nine and a half mil, however much it was. I'm not even in double digits. Y'all ain't about to okie doke me. And it's like, man, just when... We thought, we're like, Eric DeCosta, you got him. You brought him back. That back must be good. His back must be straight. Must be healthy. But Sedaria Smith said, oh, I'm healthy. But that deal is not. And when we listened to the presser from Eric DeCosta today, I was saying, I'm like, man, he just, the way that he said it, that's why you got to always look for these things. The way that he said it, you just knew something was off. Something was off. And <laughs> apparently what was off was the deal between Zadarius Smith and the Baltimore Ravens. Um, but I, you know what? I ain't mad at him, man. Because you want to try to... Now, who knows? He could turn around and Ravens could up it a little bit. But I don't know about this one because this is like... Ugh. This makes it very awkward between him and the Ravens because Ravens offered him a deal. He verbally accepted the deal. Obviously, he didn't sign a deal, so it doesn't make the deal official yet. But usually when you do the little handshake deals or whatever, or virtual handshake because he wasn't in person yet because he ain't signed. When you do those deals and then they fall apart, usually the relationship does too. I mean, see... <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, see Ben Mason. Cause you remember, how, remember how hot Harbaugh was about Ben Mason when they drafted him for whatever reason in the fifth round, and then they cut him for whatever reason, and then they were, they probably told, him, "Hey, Ben, you coming back on a practice squad, right?" And Ben told, "Oh yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, man, I got you, man." Oh, <laughs> need to go to the Patriots. <laughs> and Harbaugh was hot. I will never forget that presser. How hot Harbaugh was. Oh, he was so mad. Um, but then they ended up signing him this offseason to a future reserve. So he came back. So maybe it was a Darius Smith. The same thing could happen, not next year, but this year, this offseason. So I'm sure Ravens will have to really step their game up if they want to keep, or not even keep Z, if they want to get Z. So he, he put himself in really good position. I ain't mad at him at all. I know it's going to be Ravens fan. Oh, man, why they do that? Oh, man, I hate that guy. And I, I, you, you know how fans get. They get all crazy with it. But a lot of fans don't ever put themselves in the player's shoes. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of fans get so mad at players when it comes to certain aspects, especially when it comes to the business side. That's what so many fans, they, they, they start getting, feeling entitled and whatnot. Oh, no, this is what he needs to do. This is what he needs. He should do this. He needs to do this. No, 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 no. 
Let that player do what he got to do. So, again, I ain't mad at Z for trying to get more. If that's the case, he's trying to get more bread, more power to you. I would have done the same thing. If I ain't signed on, if, if, if a company offered me a job, and I'm like, all right, cool, yeah, I like that offer. Nice, but I ain't signed anything yet. I'm like, okay, yeah, I like the offer. It's good. Then I look around, and I say, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Somebody that's, they, somebody that's doing the same thing I'm doing for this company over here. Oh, they getting that much? Ooh, wow, wow. That's just like almost double what I'm getting. Then I look over here. And, oh, they getting that much? That is more than double than what I'm getting. What? You think I'm about to sign that little ringy dingy contract? No, I'm straight, man. No, no. I don't want no piece of that. Hey, but thanks. Hey, we, we had a good run before. Remember, hey, I ain't never going to forget you. Now, if, if you do want to reconcile our differences, well, you need to reconcile this deal. Because that little cheap thing you tried to offer me, oh, yeah, no, not happening. Not happening. So, Eric DaCosta, you know, you know what's kind of funny? Um, <laughs> you know what's funny? Eric DaCosta, he did say, hey, we plan on still spending more money. We still got money to spend in free agency. We ain't just going to stand pat. Now we know why he said that. Because he ain't paying Zadarius Smith. Now it all makes so much sense. I love when things come full circle like this to where they can initially say something, but we don't quite understand it completely. But then everything ends up coming to the surface. I, I, I love it. I don't love that this happened to the Raven. I ain't mad at it, but it is what it is. It, it happens. Now, this doesn't happen too often. But it does happen. I remember Anthony Barr a couple years ago. I think he agreed to a deal with the Jets, I want to say, in the legal tampering period part of free agency. He agreed to a deal with the Jets. And it's like, oh, yeah, Anthony Barr signs to the Jets for however much. Da, 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 da. We did the video on it and all. So then I think a day later, maybe two days later, they were like, oh, no. Nope. Anthony Barr, he changed his mind and he decided, you know what? Nope, I'm going back to the Vikings again. So the Vikings kept him. That happened with somebody this year. Oh, what? I think it was Demarcus Lawrence or Randy Gregory. Maybe it was Randy. One of them to always get those two mixed up. It was either Demarcus Lawrence or Randy Gregory to where one of them agreed to a deal with the Broncos. They were like, All right. New beginning. No, no. They, deal to, they agreed to a deal with the Cowboys. That's what it was. They agreed to a deal with the Cowboys. They're like, hey, I'm staying home. Staying home. Tell the Cowboys I'm staying home. And then they're like, mm, you know what? On second thought, bye, Texas. I'm out. And they went to go sign a deal with the Broncos. So these things happen because in the legal tampering period, which they need to get rid of, is pointless. But in the legal tampering period, these are just verbal agreements. Verbal agreements don't mean anything in the NFL. You have to put pen to paper. Pen to paper. And until that pen is to the paper, then boom. <gasps> oh, these sneaky bingles. Wow. Sneaky bingles. Um, they, they, wow, they really signed. Wow, that's crazy. They really signed Hayden Hurst. Oh, those Bengals. Anyway, um, <laughs> it's all good. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. But Zadari is no longer with the Ravens. Well, it was fun while it lasted, right? So like Zadarius Smith is when it comes to being a member of these Baltimore Ravens, I'm just like Zadarius Smith. I'm out.